Shit. You win again, YouTube. I blinked. The steering contest, really? Yep. Alright, best of three. Just kidding. Hey, I just realized something. I'm a loser. And if you've noticed, this is a hotel room. And if you've noticed, this is a hotel room. And if you've noticed, this is a hotel room. And if you've noticed, this is a hotel room. And if you've noticed, I've been repeating myself. Boy, there's a glitch in it. The video. Which do you think happened? I'm just bored. That and too much coffee. Too much on my mind. What mind? Shut up. Quick questions. Lots of questions. Oh. And I realized I have not released anything about One Life to Live. Because I was releasing a bunch of videos. Stop showing the cat. Um, oh. Last Friday, everyone knows how it ended. Uh, Todd. Okay, that's just fucking gross. Seriously? Give me the cat. Okay, that was, that was. I mean, I admit I've done some gross stuff. But my sister just showed the cat's ass. I mean, that's that's like technically kitty porn, and it is a kitten. So, is that kitty porn? We'll leave that open for discussion. You can post down below what you think, and if my sister should not do that ever again, because in all seriousness, that was just fucked up. Anywho, now back to one life to live. Um, it sucks though. Today's episode, uh, the whole uh, Todd thing. Uh, it ended last Friday, and I, I got to see the end. I missed most of the episode. I got to see the end with him walking in because I looked it up online. I got to see him walking in and, and saying, um, Tomas was saying he's not the real Todd Manning. And the real Todd, yay! Um, shut up. Screw you. I get excited about that. Came in and said, I'm the real Todd. And Star's reaction was epic beyond epic and so adorable. I just wanted to walk over and be like, oh, you're so cute. But uh, then it turns out he socked Jack on accident because he didn't recognize him because he walked in with his back turned. Like, you're supposed to recognize your son from the back of his head that you haven't seen in eight fucking years. Can't be, that's, yes, that's, that was the line draw right there. It was like they, they were believing him. Like, you saw Star was like, oh, it's daddy. Blair was like, it's the real Todd. That bastard's been lying to me. Wait, he hit Jack? Oh, you're lying. But I didn't recognize him. It was, it was quick. He was coming in the office. I was scared. Oh, no, no, we don't believe you now. Screw you. Then John came in, and the fake Todd was saying, arrest the real Todd, and they took him off, and I'm like, motherfuckers, when are they going to find this stuff out? Come on, people. And sorry, I know you guys probably don't appreciate the swears, but that was a swear moment there. That You needed the F word, because that was the F word bomb right there, because it's, no one believes him now. They're starting to not believe him. And he like, totally, totally, lucky Todd. I'd have kissed Blair just for the hell of it anyway, because let's face it. She's hot. Matter of fact, they should have actually had Todd uh, Blair, uh, Todd wearing a dress. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say Todd wearing one. <laughs> okay, True Nature comes out Freddy and flip. But they should have had Blair wearing that dress instead of um, Star, because let's face it, no one wants to see Star's cleavage. Okay? There are people that want to see Star's cleavage. Yes, people want to see her cleavage are younger than me, all right? I mean, if I was the same age I was back in 2001, which I'm not that old, I'm 20, going on 28 this year, you have to realize, when I was 18, 19, she was 12. So it's kind of creepy now. I feel like a pedo when I see that shit. So I want to see, what's her name? Um, Blair in that dress. But back to the whole um, Todd kissing Blair. And Todd, like, laid it into her. Todd's like, I love you, baby. And still, she kind of looked at him still confused. Now, it's the soap writers. If, if I have... Um, well, I'm just going to say it from a male point of view. If I'm, you know, a chick, and she bears my children as Blair bore two of Todd's children, two of his children, the real Todd, when I, you know, when I kiss such said woman, and we like, you know, I haven't seen her in eight years or whatever, that the fake woman took her place, and I didn't know it, which how the hell is that possible? I, I kiss this person, I'm going to be like, yeah, you're the real person, or you're not. You can, oh, come on, you, you, you kiss somebody long enough, or you, you, you're in love with somebody, you bear children with somebody, you're going to know that person's kiss. I mean, I might be inexperienced in the whole love field because 
I'm um, I'm touchy autistic where I don't touch people. But you'd think the person was like, you're the person or you're not. So like, come on, guys. I mean, damn you script writers. So sad. That and Matthew and uh, that girl uh, having a kid together. Will Matthew pull through? Come on, Maddie. I mean, how is she supposed to raise the child without you? But on second thought, the brother looks kind of scary. She might want to stay in that coma until he calms down. Otherwise, she's just going to put you in another one. And uh, the Dave Vicky thing was pretty cool. The, the, yeah, the Dave Dor uh, the Dave. Um, damn, I'll keep forgetting her name. Yeah, Dor Dave Dorian. I keep thinking Dorian's his last name. But the Dave Dorian thing was cool. I like how they played out that story. How he's about to leave the police station, and there she is. And that last, I know this is old stuff, but still, it's, it's still on my mind because it was funny. Um. I'm just still waiting for Jessica, uh, Natalie, and like everybody else. Vicky. Vicky hasn't seen the real Todd yet. Has Vicky? No, Vicky hasn't. Oh, she'll know because that's his. That's his sister. And they have to. They have to show that. Maybe she'll show that tomorrow. Now I'm like all excited and and stuff, having a countdown because it's it's 7:19. Damn, this coffee's like all freaking hyped me up. But um, yeah, I know I'm a big One Life to Live fan because I used to watch it. Um. I still miss all that stuff, the old classic episodes. That's one thing I'd like everyone to comment on. Even if you don't like the video, you want to give me a thumbs down, please, please, please leave in the comments down below where you can get the classic episodes because I want to see the... Because uh, there's one episode I actually missed is when Todd... Uh, uh, what's her name? Um, oh, what's that blonde chick? She ended up getting off by somebody, but she was pretty funny. Um, uh, she ended up getting killed by that strangler dude uh, with the scarves and stuff, the wacko. Uh, Gabriel. Where she was trying to seduce Todd, and everyone's like, "No, no, Todd's not gonna fall for this." And she got like really up close, and Todd just went <sighs> and blew right in her face. I missed that part on TV. My sister tried to tell me about it. So if you guys know like the classic episodes and what episode that was, please post it down below because I want to see those old classic episodes with Todd and stuff, and where little cute little um, uh, star, uh, you know, younger and stuff. I mean, just all those episodes are really sweet. Um, of course, not the episode with the strangler dude because that was kind of scary, or the baby swapping. That was just too too harsh for me and that's when I kind of stopped watching it because the whole baby swapping thing was kind of kind of kind of bad for me anyway and now I'm starting to ramble but um we've got most of that stuff out of the way as far as the baby swap and this stuff oh that poor dude he slept with that chick so he, he would hide the fact that him hitting Matthew uh gave Matthew uh uh brain damage and put him in a coma which got up and talked and then all of a sudden went into a coma I mean, I know soaps are kind of out there, but that's a bit of a stretch even for a soap, man. Come on. I'm thinking something else happened because I, I didn't see that episode where uh, Matthew went into a coma. So I'm going to ask the soap nerd. Soap nerd. Soap nerd. Did it actually show Matthew do anything else before he went into the coma? or? He was up for a couple of days, though. That's why they said the brain injury was so bad. Because... Okay, he was awake for a couple of days? Before he passed out. Okay, so he wait. He didn't fall asleep for two days, and then he just passed out. That didn't make any sense. Anyway, so a bunch of questions. When when he wakes up, is she going to be pregnant? Um, that other chick. What's her name? The ugly girl. Don't make fun of her being ugly. She's beautiful on the inside. Ask Matthew. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a very cruel joke. <laughs> Destiny. Oh. Oh, Destiny. That is a cruel name to name your child Destiny, seriously. I mean, what's she going to name her kid? Fate? Seriously? Stick to the basics, people. Come oh, on. No. Yeah, and then hope for a name. Oh, I'm sorry, Holland. You can't see that. <laughs> but um, stick to the basic names, people. <laughs> anyway, so is she going to be pregnant? Will he wait? I'm sorry. I don't care about... Yeah, well, I care about her being pregnant. I hope she actually not. Cause she's a little too young to be pregnant. And Matthew's still in the coma, which would kind of suck, you know, that he wouldn't, you know, be there for his kid. But will he wake up from the coma? If she is pregnant, wakes up from the coma and helps take care of his kid. Because let's face it, poor Bo does not deserve this for his son. And poor Nora, which I have to ask, how did they get back together anyway? Leave that too, down there. Because I know they were off and on, off and on, and they were like the Ross and Rachel of the uh, One Life to Live. Or... Call me if you change one of your minds. Cool. Anyway, uh, we're already going way up on time here. 
but uh, all excited about that. Um, damn it, now I forgot what I was going to say, what, what I was going to ask next, where we were going, because we covered the Todd, we, the Todd, and actually that sounds like we're talking about Scrubs, because it's the Todd. Anyway, um, that'd be messed up. Fraternity test high five. I'm the real Todd. No, the DNA test high five. I'm the real Todd. You probably don't watch Scrubs and One Life to Live like I do. I watch a lot of TV shows. Anyway, back to that. The the important question. The important question. Damn it. The important question. Oh, um, shut up, uh, Brody. When are they going to realize that two time and bastard is trying to raise John's son, Liam, another kind of corny name, but who cares? Because let's face it, people. That guy's a dirtbag. I mean, how many people could actually raise another man's kid? I mean, I could understand maybe if you never see the guy or don't know him, but he works with him. He, know, he has to face him every day. So basically, he might as well just walk up to John with a knife and start stabbing him in the back every freaking day because that's what he's figuratively doing. I mean, he's just stabbing him right in the back and twisting that bastard around and smiling in his face while he's doing it. What the hell is wrong with that Nazi? I mean, that's some sick stuff. That guy needs some help. So what are they going to find out that John is uh, John is the real father of Liam and not Brody? Come on, people. We must rectify this. Damn those scriptwriters. Keeping us in suspense. Keeping us biting our nails until there's no nails left. And I have to grab my sister's hand and bite her nails until she smacks me and says, What the hell are you doing? And I said, I'm just biting bite your nails. Well, I did try biting the dog's nails, but she just growled at me and looked at me funny. Josh, and then she said, I need an adult! And I said, I am an adult. Josh, anyway. I gave you my toenails a bite, but you won't bite the claw. The claw. Yeah, you haven't seen... If you can actually hear her, she's talking about her claw nail because she said bite her toenail. I swear to God, if you've ever seen Dragon Ball Z, it's greener than a Namekian. Okay? okay Megan, take care and of it's yourself. pointy, like a needle. It's creepy as hell. And she calls it the claw. I mean, that's not gross. Anyway, off of that, because let's face it, you guys probably don't want to throw up on your computers. But One Life to Live, where are they going with all the stories? And the DNA test. Well, they do the usual and swap the results. So that the real Todd is declared the fake Todd. And the fake Todd's the real Todd. The fake Todd is still in charge of his life. And he gets put away in jail. And then he tries to pay someone to kill him. What do you think is going to happen, people? And how do you think it should happen? No, fuck. Oh, and one last thing as we're going on 13 minutes and 27 seconds. If you have any um, spoilers, do not tell me because that's like telling somebody the end of a sports game. All right? I want to watch it. But on that same note, if you have any discussion boards or all that stuff, uh, feel free to send me messages. I'll send you messages so we can chat about it all day. All right. That is all, people. <laughs> Alright, one life to live gangster for life. Peace out, homies.